Hey guys, it's me, Sophia. I'm back again with another video. Today I decided to do a video that's going around on YouTube. It's called the $20 Makeup Challenge. And so what it is, is you went on vacation, the airline lost your luggage, which your makeup bag was in, and you only have $20 to buy makeup for um, the time that you're on vacation or until you get your bag back. So... I went to Target and I picked up some things and I stayed under, I think I hit exactly my $20 um, budget. So I'm going to show you everything that I got and then I'm going to start the look. So I picked up some e.l.f. products, most of everything, I think everything except the foundation um, is e.l.f. products. I even spent money on brushes because... I just, I can't live without at least a basic blending brush and eyeshadow brush. I just picked up a powder brush because the powders that I got from e.l.f. did not come with powder puffs. And so, um, I, really hard to put powder on with your fingers, I would expect. So, um, I did that. So, let's get on with the tutorial. I'm going to start with my eyes first. So I picked up this e.l.f. eye primer, and this was a dollar. So just put that all over your eye like you would. This is a very liquidy primer, so... I don't think that this would uh, last a long time with your eyeshadow, especially if you have oily lids like myself. So um, I would definitely take my eyeshadows with me wherever I go, just so I don't get some like really bad creasing on the eyeshadow. I picked up this um, e.l.f. quad. This is day to night, and it was also a dollar. It comes with a sponge applicator. And, um, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use it for something else. So, like I said, I picked up a brush. This was a dollar. And I'm going to use this lightest shade in the little quad here. And I'm going to start with my highlight. Move my mirror up a little. I'm just going to place this right on the brow bone. Blending this out. Since I just have one brush to work with. And a blending brush. I want to start out with the lightest color. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to take my blending brush, which I got from Target as well. This is an e.l.f. blending brush, and it also was a dollar. I'm going to go into this burgundy shade that's right next to that, um, that cream color that we just put on our brow bone. And I'm going to put this in the crease. This is going to be our starting color. Now these eyeshadows are really powdery. Um, they have good pim uh, pigmentation, but they definitely, you'll definitely have fallout if you're not careful with how much you're putting on. So just blend that out. So there you go. Go back in with this eyeshadow brush and I'm going to pick up this like taupe color that's right here and this is going on your lid. So what 
I'm going to do is take this blending brush, I'm going to clean it off. And I'm going to go into this gray color. And this is going to go on the outer V. So I'm just going to dab this where I want it. And then I'm going to blend. I mean, if you can see my hand, I don't know if you can see all of that. That's all, like, from me tapping off. So if you don't tap off your brushes, all of that is going to be on your face. And I didn't have enough money to buy makeup wipes. And sometimes the water does not work. So just blend that in. So, uh, clean off your brush. I'm just using a piece of tissue. Usually they have these in hotel rooms when you're on vacation, so I did not count this into my $20 since it is usually available wherever you're staying. So I just clean this off. Make sure it's really clean because we're going to use this to blend all of these colors and make sure there's no harsh lines. So, and then go back in with that um, flat eyeshadow brush, clean that off, and we're going to blend these two colors together with your brow bone. Go back in with a little more gray on this side. Okay, like that. So I did have enough money to buy an eyelash curler. This is one from e.l.f. as well, and it is a dollar. I love this eyelash curler. It is a great curler, and for a dollar, you can't beat that. So just curl your eyelashes. So what I'm going to do is I got this black eyeliner, and this is actually a Wet n Wild. Um, this is a shimmer eye pencil. When I bought it, I didn't know it had shimmer in it. I just saw the price, and it was $0.97. Cents. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to tight line. Place this on my waterline. the best pencil in the world. And then we're going to um, run this across the lid. I'm just going to pull back a little bit on my lid, not too hard. You don't want to tug on your eyelid too hard. Create wrinkles. We're just going to place this on the outer one third of the eyelid right there and then I'm gonna go back in with um, the sponge applicator that came with the eyeshadow so I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to blend this out
do that to the other side. I did buy eyelashes. These are e.l.f. lashes. Um, they're a dollar. And I have used these lashes before. Um, they're okay. Lashes, I mean, if you need lashes in a hurry and you don't have a lot of money, these are definitely good lashes to get. Or if you're starting out with lashes. Um, they do come with a glue. I've never used the glue. I always use my Ardell glue that I have, which works great. So we're going to give this a try and see if this works. Um, so the glue is weird. So I'm just going to run this across the lash band. Like that. And... Um, to put this on with my fingers because I don't have eyelash tweezers they would probably be in my makeup bag and I didn't have enough to buy any and um, I didn't see any dollar ones I know elf has them for a dollar but when I went I don't I don't think um, the target I went to had any in stock so I'm just gonna place this on and just hope for the best So, um, once you're done contouring, or since I'm almost done contouring, I am going to go in with this. This is called a all-over color stick, and this is the only color they had, which is golden peach. Um, don't really think it's going to work on my skin tone, but since I have the, um, the bronzer, I could just use this right here uh, above my cheekbone. For like a flush of color and some shimmer because it's shimmery it's like a peachy pink uh shimmer color just blend that in with your fingers you could also use this as a lipstick too if you don't want to buy one i did so i'll put that there blend it in like so so I don't know if you can see that right, right there on either side. Oh, it smells weird. Um, so I also picked up this um, e.l.f. powder, pressed powder. And this is in Honey, which is darker than the color that I got, um, the foundation. So I'm just going to run this down my forehead. Same brush that I use the bronzer with, down my nose, chin, right in here, and on my neck. Anywhere that I blended that um, foundation down to so it sets. Okay. I'm going to run a little bit across the concealer I don't really want to change that color of it but I do want to set it this brush hurts oh the eyelashes are already starting to come up on the ends is which is is what I was worried about as well so I don't know if I this really ever happened to me I'd probably skip the lashes but I wanted to give it a try so, um, so what I picked out was I got a wet and wild lipstick. This was a dollar 
and or like 97 cents and then I got this um, super glossy lip shine with SPF 15 from elf and this is in pink kiss and this is in just peachy um, so this is what we're gonna use on our lips so I'm just gonna there's like nothing peach about this lip color it's straight pink <laughs> And on camera, I look hilarious, I bet. I wish I would have picked a darker color, but I didn't want to pick too dark of a color. So that's the color. I'm making I'm gonna make it work. So we're gonna take this lip stuff here. And I think these are like the same color. Maybe if I, oh, I don't know. I mean, I know people who pull this off, personally. Not a big fan of the super pink lips. Hmm. Interesting. So there's the lip. Um, it doesn't, I don't think it looks good on camera because I can see the back of my camera. Um, in person, it doesn't look bad, but I feel like, I guess I feel like a Barbie. I don't, I, it's very Barbie-ish, this lip color. I mean, it would, I think this lip color would look really good on someone who is a lot fairer than I am. So it's not a bad color. It goes on really well. I like the um, this little gloss stuff. But definitely I don't think I would wear it. It looks good with this look though. I just wish I was a little paler to pull off this lip color. And these eyelashes are bugging me. So let's see. Is that everything? I think so. Oh, and what I also picked up were these... Um, what are these called? Shine Erase Oil Blotters. And they were also a dollar. So I spent $20. And I will have all of the prices and everything down below. I hope you guys enjoy this and try it out if you guys want to. You don't have to make a video if you just go down below. I'll leave my Facebook page. You can just give me a, send me a picture there on my Facebook. And leave me a picture of your $20 look. So until next time, bye.